is now my pleasure to welcome Congresswoman Frederica Wilson. Good morning, everyone. I'm very excited this morning to welcome all of you here today, especially my colleagues from the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee who traveled all the way from our nation's capital, Chairman Schuster and Representative Napolitano. Please stand. Let them see you. And we have two other representatives. Representative Debbie Washman Schultz and Carlos Cabello. Stand up, let them see you. I want to also welcome everyone from Palm Beach, Broward, and I think we could have a Dade County Commission meeting in here this morning if we wanted to. All of our citizens and uh, all, of our, all of the press for coming to this important event. I'm excited to welcome Brightline to Miami. It is a wonderful model for the kind of passenger rail systems that our committee envisions for cities across the nation. This is indeed a very historic moment. In the late 1800s, Miami was transformed when industrialist Henry Flagler built a railroad system in our great city. It provided jobs, jobs, jobs. I'm hoping that history will repeat itself with the launch of Brightline's express passenger rail service. Brightline will give the city's transportation system and its economy much needed and well-deserved boost. In addition to creating jobs directly in Palm Beach, Broward County, uh, Miami, the rail system will provide opportunities for businesses to create jobs all along the route from Fort Lauderdale, Palm Beach, Miami, vice versa, and ultimately Orlando. In addition, it is my hope that Brightline's presence in the Overtown community will encourage others to reinvest in our once bustling area. Thank you, Representative Edmondson. Jobs, jobs, jobs will be created. Brightline also is good for the environment. The 50 million people who currently fly or drive when traveling be between Orlando and South Florida will be able to ride in comfort and style with access to high-speed Wi-Fi, dining options, and other conveniences, and pets are welcome too. Once Brightline service is fully launched, it will take three million cars off the road and thus reduce fuel consumption and Florida's carbon footprint and jobs, jobs, jobs. So there is great cause for celebration today, but also for great caution. As you know, some lives have been lost along the Brightline route. Some of them were suicides, which we did not anticipate. Others occurred because people did not safely cross the tracks. This week in DC, I recorded two public service announcements urging pedestrians to use caution when crossing train tracks. I also noted how absolutely imperative it is that parents teach their children how to cross the tracks safely. I'm very pleased that Brightline has teamed up with Florida Operation Lifesaver to promote a safety awareness campaign to teach people to look, to listen, and to live. We're working with Miami-Dade County Public Schools and have distributed flyers to all of our children in our schools. It advises pedestrians and cyclists to look both ways before crossing the tracks. It warns that it is a bad idea to wear headphones near train tracks because the trains are quiet and they must never ever walk or bike along the tracks or try to chase or outrun a train. I cannot express a stress to you enough the importance of teaching our children these life-saving lessons. 
These high-speed trains are shiny and exciting and beautiful, and some children will understandably be fascinated by them. Curiosity is a good thing, but safety must come first. That is why I have written a letter to the head of the Federal Railroad Administration to support a recent bid submitted by All Aboard Florida for a grant to construct additional safety treatments along the Brightline Corridor to reduce vehicular and pedestrian intrusions when a train is approaching. In addition, I will join transportation experts on a tour of various crossings near schools and in neighborhoods to assess their safety and make recommendations for improvements. Such preventive measures will go a long way in keeping our residents and our visitors safe. Wait until the millions of people who visit Florida each year get a load of these beautiful, comfortable high-speed trains. I know they will take advantage of the ability to travel from Fort Lauderdale or West Palm Beach to Miami in an hour or less. That is a win-win-win for all of our state because the more of Florida that the, the more of Florida that visitors can see, the more they will love and want to come back time and time again. It is also a great way for those of us who live in this great state of Florida to explore other parts of Florida, especially our children. So again, welcome to Miami, Brightline, and all aboard Florida. Thank you.